Welcome to System Test 28 on the Voice Evacuation Fire Alarm Demonstration Board. I spent a lot of time putting this system together today, and let me tell you, it is gonna be a great system test today. Let me start by showing you the first device. It is a Simplex 2902-9739 speaker strobe. I've been trying to get this alarm on this board for a while now, however, I've been unable to mount it. There's only two screw hole options. There's one screw down here and one at the top, and it will only fit a simplex rated back box, which I have not had until now. But I did recently get a hold of one. This right here is a simplex 2975-5145 back box. Has a little bit of damage from a paint job. It was obviously installed in the building prior to this, but hey, it works. I got the alarm on the board. And this alarm today, the strobe plate is actually not gonna be acting as a strobe plate. It's actually gonna be acting as a light plate. I've taken the strobe out of the alarm in the back and replaced it with the light bulb from this Tectone quarter light that's normally seen on my other system test series with this board. And this, uh, they do make models of these alarms, as most of you know, that have lights in them. So it's not gonna look too out of the ordinary. However, I do not have a light plate. So I thought I would make my own homemade one today, which I think it looks really cool. If you are curious, here is what the strobe looks like. And I have it sitting down here. And uh, yeah, it's a very delicate piece of circuitry. But this right here is called a potentiometer and it's a special type of resistor that allows you to manually adjust the resistance in a circuit. So do you see this little wheel right here? If you spin that wheel, it will actually adjust the flash rate of a strobe. Anyways, I thought this was pretty cool and I thought you might wanna see it, but it's not gonna be in today's system test. The light that will be flashing in this alarm actually runs on 24 volts AC, whereas the panel notification appliance circuit runs on 24 volts DC. So in order to get around this, I had to use a relay and I have it wired up to its own 24 volt AC power source. But the relay is wired into the NAC and it will be being coded to March time. So this will be flashing in March time. As a matter of fact, all of the notification appliances on this board are on their own circuit today. So they'll all be doing something different. For the second notification appliance spot, we have a Simplex 4904-9137 strobe mounted on a strobe plate with a Simplex 4901-9822 horn. That's the type of horn that sounds similar to a Simplex True Alert. This one is being coded to temporal three by the fire alarm control panel. And then this one is being coded to steady non-silenceable by the fire alarm control panel. As a matter of fact, the light is also set on non-silenceable. And then also up there, there is a spider on the wall. For the conventional fire alarm pull station today, we have a Simplex 4251-20. We're trying to stay on theme. And anyone that's had a 4251-20 and then also one of the newer Simplex T-Bar pull stations knows that the 4251-20 is just made with plastic that just feels a lot less cheap versus the newer ones. Both are still really cool because they're fire alarms, but as a collector, I definitely like the older style 4251-20s a lot more than the newer T-Bars. For the special pull station today, you got to see me install it in a prior video. We have a EST278A-REL manual release pull station. And that is wired up to the LED amber wheel lock strobe that you've seen in plenty of the videos that I've made if you watch this channel. And then it is wired up with a voice evacuation sound. I guess it's not really evacuation but it basically is a lady that comes over the speaker that says that there is an alarm and that it's being investigated and to stand by. And the other voice evacuation that we have today is a Simplex 4100 voice evacuation. There's a lot of different types of those, but you'll see the type that we have when we pull the pole station. With the way that the messaging is set up and the order we're gonna be testing things in today, it kind of sounds like a nice two-stage setup. So let's go ahead and pull the manual release pull station. Here we go. Lift handle, pull for manual release. Ladies and gentlemen, your attention please. 
An alarm has been activated. We are investigating the cause. Please remain calm and stand by near the speakers for further instruction. Go ahead and silence it. Ladies and gentlemen, your attention please. An alarm has been activated. We are investigating the cause. Please remain calm and stand by near the speakers for further instructions. completely reset so this is the light plate and we're going to change it from March time to steady and then I believe the horn is on knack 4 and we're going to change that from temporal to March time that'll be interesting all right panel is reprogrammed now we'll activate the Simplex 4251-20 and see the fire alarms turn on. And while they're on, we'll also activate the manual release pull station once again. And you will notice that the manual release tone will not play over the speakers until we silence the fire alarm. Let's go ahead and activate it. Here we go. Pull down. And I think that's going to be it. Thank you for watching System Test 28. I really hope you enjoyed this video. And if you did, check out some of my other videos. Thank you for watching. Rate, comment, and subscribe. And please have a great day.